Good afternoon, everyone. Mega ranches seem to be the hottest thing in global real estate at the moment. I've been picking up on a lot of billionaires buying desert land through several continents. Incredible. Right where they're buying it, there's increases in rainfall through Australia, the United States, all through Africa. And it makes you wonder, what kind of advanced information were they giving about the new solar minimum and increased rainfalls brought on by cosmic ray increases that will increase cloud cover globally? There's been an enormous amount of research led by Svensmark on cosmic ray increases during solar minimums. The increased cosmic rays act as cloud nuclei, creating greater cloud cover across our planet, which has an effect of blocking the sun rays coming in, as well as dropping five times more rain or five times more snow globally. And when we come across these billionaires investing in desert lands, they obviously have been given different information than you're giving in the mainstream media. Billionaires are going on a 20-year payback minimum. They're not going with the one-year fluctuation. And you might ask yourself, what's this advanced climatic data worth to an investor? If I can tell somebody where it's going to rain and where the rains are going to amplify and where the cold is going to intensify and pinpoint that to an exact year, narrow it down to about a three-month period, that's where commodity investments come in. China was the first ones to start investing in the deserts of North Africa. Also, you know there were mega lakes in the Sahara 7,000 years ago. As we take a look at North Africa, the seasonal percent of precipitation, look at that. Those areas are double the amount of normal rainfall. Different schematic for you to take a look at the same idea there. China, as you can see in some of their major investments through Central Africa. Oh, surprise, surprise. Look where the rainfall increases are, double the amount. So these areas are going to become agricultural food production areas after just a couple more years if that rainfall continues, which it should with the new solar minimum. It should retain that type of moisture and rainfall for the next 30 years, which would allow billionaires to recoup their investments. The same thing's occurring in Australia. West Australia cattle stations look a little bit like this, desert-ish, but whoa. Here we go again, Australia, rainfall. How is it that they are in the exact locations that rainfall is increasing? They must know something's going to continue out there or they wouldn't invest and buy this enormous amount of land. Just as an example, Kidman and Company bought 11 million hectares. That's 1.4% of Australia out in West Australia in the desert areas. Taking a look at this year's temperature anomaly for July, look how cold it is across Australia. This is Australian Bureau of Meteorology. Cooler temperatures mean less evaporation. Less evaporation also with the cooler temperatures will allow more condensation, which will increase moisture. Now these are large, large investors that are picking up these vast tracts of land. Now what they want to do is vertically integrate cattle processing facilities, but those cows, they need grass to eat. And right now in a desert condition, it doesn't look like there's too much grass going there, but with a little bit of rainfall, suddenly desert becomes grassland in an instant. Mega ranches, and when we're talking mega ranches, hundreds of thousands of hectares. And jumping over to the United States, New Mexico, not known for its abundant rainfall, with sparse vegetation and desert-like conditions, suddenly has three times the amount of normal rainfall. So I jumped over into the Oregon State University Prism Climate Data Research for just precipitation anomalies. Let's take a look. The average precipitation for July, look how blue it is in the west there. That is three or four times the amount of average rainfall. So I started to break it down by month to see exactly how much area there was covered with anomalous rainfalls. Right at the Four Corners area is where you're looking or slightly over into the panhandle of Texas. This is for January, February. Look how much rain came down. Again, that's at four times average rainfall. Right in that Four Corners area, more precipitation. Not so much this month, but in Texas. Again, in Texas, but take a look at June. Look how much rain fell throughout the entire region there. July, exceptional rainfalls. Now, how is it that all these billionaires are buying up the desert area right in the Four Corners area and those four states? That's normally incredibly dry, but they want to do cattle ranching. And oh, here we go. Now it's a new food production area. They had advanced information 
And this is off the New Mexico NOAA website, the precipitation summaries. Again, look how wet it is in January 2015. Globally, they're trying to link El Nino anomalies to this, but if you do look where the green is, that's exponential rainfall increases. Notice in Africa, all across, Africa's got a little bit of shade of green going on there more than a lot of other places. This is a cyclical pattern. It's happened through history about every 200 years. 400-year events are very severe. 700-year events, which we're possibly going into now, are extreme events where there's large temperature drops. John Casey with the book Dark Winter does a really good job explaining what's going to happen in the next couple of years. And also Robert Felix, Not by Fire But by Ice, this is a great book, I suggest it for you. Lays out what's going to happen, what you can expect, how you can protect yourself. Thanks for watching, hope you got something out of the video. As you can see, there's two sets of information being given out on our planet. Those with large amounts of capital to invest are being given different advanced set of data of where things that have little value now will increase in value due to rainfall. What we're fed in the mainstream media is completely different. I encourage you to do all your research. You can try to refute any of the information in my videos. I always do my best to dig in and really present to you the best that I can find. And remember to subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030, and I'll keep more stories like this coming to you.